I've made dozens of videos on how to get a job in tech, mainly in my area of focus, AIML. A common critique I get is that the job market is just too bad right now. It's impossible to get a job no matter what you do if you're an entry-level candidate. But is that really true? What did the data actually show? To figure this out, let's break down how we got here. Way back in the 2008 recession, when I was first starting my career, tech went through a rough time. There were over 300,000 layoffs, and tech unemployment nearly doubled in a single year as overall US unemployment hit 10%. Junior roles were basically non-existent, hiring froze, and we saw layoffs in big tech just like in recent years. The recession affected the whole economy. I wasn't even able to get a retail job because I was competing with unemployed lawyers. Over the decade that followed, things improved. By the time we get to the pre-COVID years, around 2018 to 2019, the tech market was doing great. Tech unemployment hit record lows, and entry-level pipelines like internships and new grad programs were flourishing. During the real COVID boom from 2020 to 2021, hiring went bananas. By mid-2021, US job postings on Indeed were 35% above the pre-pandemic baseline. But we all know things didn't stay that way. Since March 2020, starting even during the hiring frenzy, hundreds of thousands of tech workers have been laid off. Now in 2025, tech job postings have fallen sharply from their 2022 peak. Combine these two things, lots of people with big tech experience who got laid off and fewer new postings, and you get a situation where there are just fewer opportunities for new grads. In fact, big tech's share of new grad hires has dropped to about 7%, which is more than 50% below 2019 levels. And it's a similar story for startups. Plus, there is also AI. A Stanford study in August showed that AI is already beginning to have a significant and disproportionate impact on entry-level workers in the US labor market, especially those ages 22 to 25 in highly AI-exposed professions like software engineering and customer service. Companies are automating routine junior tasks while doubling down on high-leverage roles like machine learning and data engineering, which we'll come back to in a moment. All that being said, it is important to note that US tech employment overall remains sizable. There are actually more people working in tech today than pre-COVID. A lot of the layoffs were correcting overhiring during COVID rather than eliminating roles that existed prior to the boom. More senior folks have generally done well in the last few years, even if there are fewer entry-level positions. Another bright spot is AIML jobs. US demand for AI skills rose about 20% from 2023 to 2024, and postings for ML engineers are up about 60% since 2020. But again, most of these require prior experience or demonstrated skills. So yeah, it is hard right now. The reality is that if you want to get into tech today, it's going to be competitive. It's absolutely doable. Fewer opportunities doesn't mean no opportunities, but you will need to put in a lot of work. It would be pretty reasonable to decide that this just isn't worth it to you. Maybe you're not actually that sold on working in tech anyway, or maybe you're just not up for putting in all the effort that's required these days. That's totally okay. It's better to be honest with yourself now rather than invest in something you're not going to enjoy or be able to follow through with. If that's the case, no shame in clicking away from this video now. Okay, I want to talk to the rest of you, the ones who really want to do this. Maybe you're scared of how much work it's going to be or doubtful of whether it's even going to be possible, but deep down, you know you'll regret it if you don't try. Here's what I have to say to you, and get ready because you're either going to love this or hate it. The job market doesn't fucking matter. That is not something we can control. It doesn't matter if someone else was lucky to get in at just the right time or if you don't have every possible advantage. If this is something you truly want to do, none of that matters. What matters is how we respond to the challenges presented to us. We can choose to see them as some insurmountable obstacle, or we can find a way to use them to our advantage. It's not just, how can I convince myself that this situation isn't actually that bad? It's how can I see this as an opportunity? So there are lots of candidates and fewer postings. That means we know we won't be able to coast. That means we will need to put in even more work than we would have otherwise. So by pursuing this goal in a more difficult time, we will become a better version of ourselves than we would have otherwise, both personally and professionally. When the next swing up happens, which it inevitably will, we will be uniquely positioned to succeed. Ultimately, few things in life are inherently positive or negative. It's all about how we see them and respond to them. We could look at the job market today and think we missed the boat. We're just too late since we missed the COVID boom. But you don't know what the job market will look like in two or three years. When I started this journey in 2018, I didn't anticipate how I would benefit from the COVID job market. What if now is actually the perfect time to start developing your skills? What if this perfectly positions you for the next boom? If you give up now, you'll never find out. And sure, it could also go the other way. We could all be replaced by AI after all. But wouldn't you rather live knowing you gave it your all? That you tried even though the results weren't guaranteed? You pushed yourself, you grew, and that's something you can always be proud of. 
These jobs are possibly the best jobs in the history of our species. I really mean that. I make as much money as a doctor, but I didn't need to go to school for a thousand years and I get to work from home on fun projects. Of course, these jobs are gonna be hard to get. The things in life that test us are often what we look back on as the things that shaped us, and we may even be grateful for them one day. If I could go back in my life and remove all of the painful experiences, I wouldn't. They made me who I am today. So don't let the naysayers get you down. Truthfully, those people were unlikely to be successful regardless of the job market. Hard doesn't mean impossible. I know firsthand from my coaching work that there are new grads getting great offers and people from non-traditional backgrounds making it even in 2025. So if this is something you want, focus on what you can control and ignore everything else. The steps to success are the same regardless of the job market. Study hard, make rad projects, network like crazy, prepare for interviews more than every other candidate, and keep pushing until you get to where you want to go. You got this.